everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be basketing up some of the vandals that I got in the recent orchid haul from Class N Orchids, which I'll link you to down below for the unboxing video. Now, I'm struggling a bit already with keeping these hydrated in the heat wave that we're having, so I've had to prioritise basketing up the vandals because I do struggle with mounted orchids and bare root orchids with the daily soaks in the summer. So what I'm going to do is I'm prioritising them there are some other orchids that need a repot from that, but it's not as urgent because I, they do need repotting, but it's just not an urgent thing, whereas I'm already struggling to keep the vandas hydrated. So in front of me, I've got three size vanda baskets. So I'm going to do three vandas that need most urgently doing today. And I'm probably going to do the rest of them another time, but I probably won't film that because I think that it's just going to be the same procedure repeated basically on three small vandas. Where, so the most interesting things we're going to get uh, really through this filming. So I'll film this today and then let me know if you want to see the other three, but it probably isn't going to be of interest. So these baskets, I'll link you to the supplier down below. It's an orchid nursery called Rolka uh, Orchidine, I believe. I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. So they're really reasonably valued. It's a European orchid nursery. You can get a small one for sort of it was like seven or eight euros and the larger ones are like 10 11 euros and they also sell hangers i initially made an order for just a few to try the baskets out and i really liked them they missed a basket off that order though so i made another order and i messaged them to say oh you missed one basket and they sent me my bigger order and they also included like five free baskets and loads of free hangers as well i guess to make up for having missed the one off before it's great. I mean, I don't need to buy Vanda baskets for a long time now. So yeah, what I usually do is I take my basket. So this is going to be for the smallest orchid. And I line this with coconut husk. This is just what I can find readily available. I've seen that Miss Orchid Girl uses sisal fibre, I think. I'll link you to her video below. I'm sure you've already seen it, but just in case you haven't, I will link you to her videos. Now she's recently started basketing her vandas as well with a bark mix and I, it's funny because I'd been doing it for about six months and then she put a video up to say she'd been doing it as well so it's really funny timing um, but it seems to be working for both of us I would say maybe we do it slightly differently um, yeah I will show you how I do it and yeah hopefully you can get good methods from both I think her videos are always really good and she has a lot of experience with orchids so funny that we happen to be trialing out the same method at the same time. So, coconut husk. So the main purpose of this is just to stop the media falling through the bottom. I use chunky bark and at the moment I'm using a mix of different grade chunky bark from uh, a couple of different nurseries. But I always go for like the premium one that's going to last a bit longer. Now with some of my vandas that are a bit thirstier, I also mix in moss, but these vandas have been growing bare roots, so I don't want to shock them too much. Not too worried about the sides, the main thing is just to form kind of a mesh at the bottom to stop the bark falling through. You probably could actually use wire mesh, actually, just thinking about it. This is a natural alternative, so basket is... It's a bit of a hole there. So the basket is lined there. I'm just going to pop my bark in at the bottom. So I'll show you the bark that I'm using. What I've done is I poured boiling water over it just to clean it. It probably didn't really need it, but it was quite dusty. So this is kind of grade bark that I'm using. It's now in um, sort of lukewarm water just soaking but it's had a rinse to remove some of the dusty layers. So the bark is in the bottom there. Remove the hooks from the basket this guy's in. This plastic basket doesn't need to be removed. Got a nice root tip there, I've got a few root tips growing. Don't really want to disturb it any more than needed. So what I'm going to do is just take the wire off and just put the whole basket into my other basket and that is absolutely fine. The plastic isn't going to break down, it's not going to suffocate the roots. 
like an organic media. And this basket isn't too tight. Sometimes you get them from nurseries and they have really tiny, tiny little baskets on that's actually kind of detrimental to the roots. Uh, but this is fine. No issues leaving this attached. So that is the wire hanger removed. So just got the banda intact. Got some nice growing roots in there. I'm just gonna literally pop those in the basket. So that is nice and in the basket there. I'm just going to fill around that with bark. Okay, so that is my vanda all basketed up. So you can see there's lots of air pockets in there. I've left that little root on the top there. And yeah, I'm really happy that it'll do fine in this. This isn't a dramatic change. The bark is very chunky. There's still lots of air pockets. There's going to be a lot of oxygenation still around the root zone. It's just going to hold that little bit more moisture and humidity in for a little bit longer so that at most I probably have to water uh, soak twice a week instead of twice a day, which I was having to do in summer last year. So just to give you a bit of background of why I switched to this sort of method, I... Initially was growing my bandas bare root and soaking them once a day every day except in summer when it was twice a day and I was having to soak them for sort of hours in summer to keep them hydrated and I thought well there must be a better way than this because I was having to it wasn't really fitting in with my kind of lifestyle so I tried just putting some bark in the baskets and it just immediately changed the the randas improved a lot because they were getting adequate hydration really made a difference to how they were growing so i then thought well maybe i can try them potted because i was struggling to get the baskets so i drilled lots of extra ventilation holes into just normal clear plastic orchid pots and filled with very chunky bark like the stuff that i'm using now and that worked really well. It worked kind of the same as growing them in baskets of bark because if you're drilling lots of extra ventilation holes into a pot, it's essentially becoming a, a basket really with chunky bark and lots of aeration around the roots. So that worked well, but they didn't look very nice. And vandas are quite big and ungainly. And they, some of my vandas, like the Rinka stylus types, have pendant flower spikes, like their Aerides and Rinka stylus tend to do that. So they kind of suit baskets better anyway, and the baskets look so much nicer, and obviously you can fit more in because you're hanging your plants, so I'm not having shelf space occupied by big vandas. So I found another basket supplier, and that was the Rolka Orchidine in Germany. And so now I'm switching back to baskets. So I've been growing them in media, let's say, either in baskets with bark or pots with bark, and I really like it. It really works well for me as a method. So I'm going to carry on doing it. So that's my first vanda done. And the baskets are really nice size. I really like these baskets actually. They're much cheaper than the ones I was getting from the previous supplier as well. So my next vanda, we might have to use a slightly bigger basket than this actually. I'm going to see. It's going to take it off from the hanger. It's this one. And this one is the Tub Tim Velvet crossed with Willas Big. It's the, the nice one with the cakey. And you can see I'm, uh, it's already a little bit dehydrated. Can you see the kind of wrinkling there? It was not like that when I got it. I've been soaking it once a day, but I think it could do with twice a day. And I only got this on Friday. So <laughs> I'm being a bad orchid parent, which is why this is kind of a priority for me rather than the repotting the Phalaenopsis or the Cattleya that I got. So this is the this is the urgent one, sorting out the vandas because I'm not being a good vanda parent at the moment. And even since I got it, it's actually started growing new root tips. So this is a quite a good time to be basketing actually because the new roots can adjust to the media. Although it oh and this one which was dried up when I got it, you can see it's kind of coming back to life. I often find this with vandas they're really willing to produce new roots. I love it. They're almost as easy as fowls in that regard. Okay, so let's have a look. Yeah, I'm going to use a slightly bigger basket for this one. 
think that one's a better size for it. the second one all basketed up. Now we just have the last one to do. So we got the coconut fibre in there lining the bottom and this is the tricky one. So I might have to do this a little bit off camera because he is, this is my um, absolutely giant Vanda. Like, I don't know if you can... Yeah, I can't fit him on camera. I obviously I filmed the unboxing on him, so <laughs> this is the big one. This is the one we're not totally sure of the ID. This is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna have to lie him down on the floor, guys, sorry. Okay, so this was staying very wet in the bottom there, which is why there's a lot of moss around the top. And if I show you the pot that it was in, it's got like one hole in the middle, can you see? But then around that just sits a lot of water. So this guy was in a bit of an odd setup, probably just because of his size. And I've got, oh, it's a bit of a nightmare. I've got quite a lot of dead roots, so I'm gonna have to remove some of these. Okay, so all of this stuff is gonna have to come off. That's all dead because we're putting it in a basket with potting media. So anything that's dead in there is going to rot. So this is a little bit more tricky than the, the bare root situations, but it was just like a mass around the bottom that were dead, where they'd just been like in water. It didn't stop. I mean, this plant still got loads of really great roots. I think it's just its size has meant that it got a little bit put to one side on the repotting. So I've taken the dead roots off there, what I can, and left the live ones on. Now, this is so awkward to do guys, I'm really sorry that you can't see this very well. It's such a big band, I think I'm going to have to stake it as well. So what we want to do is just curl these roots around the edges, these big ones that have kind of adjusted to being bare root, and then they get the most aeration if they're sitting around the edge of the pots. And I'm just gonna like, twirl it in like spaghetti. doesn't matter if a lot of these are kind of outside or on the edges because as they grow and branch they will go into the basket they just automatically seek the moisture okay I'm just going to fill around that with bark. I'm sorry that I had to do so much of that one off screen. It was not the easiest one to do. Just going to pinch together the bottom wires. The tag in here. And then for the other two, I'm just going to use the um, ones that came with the baskets. So these are 
These are quite inexpensive. This is a 50 centimeter one, and this one's a 35 centimeter one. So he's 35 for the smaller one, and a 50 for the bigger one. So. Okay, so those are my three Vanders potted up into baskets and looking great really happy with that you can see obviously this root is greened up already because the bark was moist so even if it doesn't stay moist for very much very long compared to a pot it'll still help me a lot with watering for these guys and this one here as you can see he looks much better in a basket and I've able I've stabilized him with a little plant tie there so that it's not going to tip over all the time so yeah that is pretty much everything done for today I'm going to repot the other three shortly I'm not sure if you want to, uh, any more information on the process in which case maybe I could film it and answer some questions but otherwise I'm just I think going to get on with it because I need to get it done Thanks so much for watching today and obviously if you've got any questions at all let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer. If you found this video useful then maybe subscribe to my channel for lots more regular orchid videos and updates and especially updates on these vandas at the moment because hopefully now that it's summer and I can see lots of active root tips growing maybe we'll even get some flower spikes soon from these. Who knows? Thanks so much for watching. Bye!